Hello everyone and hello again YouTube. This is Mia with EOS Marketplace News and I'm back to give you uh, more updates and news on blockchain. But uh, before we start, just a quick reminder that we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding the information we provide for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel EOS Marketplace News and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available um, each day. Alright, so um, today, as promised, I'm back to give you another article featured in today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news, which is about here. What China's cashless revolution can teach the West about crypto? All right. Now, here. According to the article, it says that cash appears to be disappearing from China's teeming cities. Foreign tourists talk of struggling to buy things because they don't have Alipay or WeChat Pay installed on their smartphones and because merchants no longer bother to accept the banknotes they get from ATMs. These stories elicit fascination among Americans, but not much more. Here in the U.S., many can't grasp what the big deal is about digital payments. After all, Pulling a credit card from your wallet isn't much more inconvenient than pulling a smartphone out of your pocket and it costs you, if not the merchant, no more than you if you used cash. To the average American, China's system seems no different from Ven Venmo or PayPal, but um, just more pervasive. But as Andreessen Horowitz's partner Connie Chan told me during a fireside chat at the HYTSA conference at Stanford a week ago, the real benefits of China's cashless revolution lie in how this new software-based system of value exchange has become a platform on which new business models can be built. Digitizing payments in this way at a very low cost um, enables micropayments and seamless integration across different service providers, which in turn means merchants can provide a variety of new services to customers over an app. This helps to enhance the user experience, boost loyalty and engagement, and build network value. Consider how Kogo, the most popular of a number of Chinese music apps, provides song coins to fans based on their level of engagement, which they can exchange into renminbi, the local currency. Essentially, by removing intermediation costs from the payment system, Alibaba Affiliate and Financials Alipay and Tencent's WeChat Pay, which together now boast a million users, according to Aid Group, have created a seamless foundation for a new or whole new digital economy. Chan says this is where U.S. app developers are being left behind because their products can't integrate with this new model. The relevance of in this for Coindesk readers with their interest in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology starts with the fact that this stream of a seamless micropayments enable system of hitherto impossible new services is one that's often cited by crypto enthusiasts. So does China prove that you don't need a blockchain to build a new internet of value powered by device-to-device -device exchanges in an internet of things economy? Well, yes and no. Crypto Dream Chinese Characteristics There is a very real and illuminating limit to China's system. It can't easily go outside its borders. Although some U.S.-based providers are now creating services for Chinese tourists so they can buy things in America with their WeChat Pay or Alipay accounts, most of the activity on these networks happens in China. Most importantly, while Alipay and WeChat Pay are trying to crack other markets, there is no cross-currency facility. 
for all intents and purposes, this cashless revolution is happening within the boundaries of a renminbi universe. The reason for that is that unlike a cryptocurrency systems, the Chinese digital payment system is entirely built on the rails of the Chinese banking system, which deals almost exclusively in the Chinese currency. In that sense, it does share a foundation more like Venmo's and PayPal's, whose accounts also settle back in the banking system than that of Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. The big difference is that for a host of reasons, the banks don't charge the same kind of exorbitant interchange fees to Chinese merchants that U.S. banks do to U.S. businesses, allowing the digital payments providers to build a much more fluid micropayments model on top. But here's the thing. The Chinese banking system is essentially an instrument of Chinese poly policy making. The four biggest banks make up the bulk of the financial system and are all majority government-owned. Their capacity to make profits essentially on the spread they charge for loans over what they pay for deposits is enabled by a carefully managed monetary policy. The People's Bank of China sets a ceiling for deposit rates, often below inflation and can get away with that because it imposes capital controls on savers to prevent them fleeing low rates for higher earning currencies. To be sure, um, and Financial and Tencent both have a variety of financial and banking license of their own, but their own financial profits are very much enabled by the same interest rate policy framework that a wider state-run Chinese banking system is compelled to accept. For now, that policy framework has sustained a quid pro quo arrangement with Chinese savers, who more or less support a banking system that otherwise eats into their savings because the benefits are manifest in continued economic growth and in services like to those of Tencent and Alibaba. But for some time, there has been an expectation that China, in its desire to internationalize the renminbi, will relax both its interest rate and capital controls, which could seriously undermine banks' profit margins. If China were also to allow more private and foreign investment into the banks, would um, those institutions continue to subsidize the digital payments economy? Maybe and maybe not. Since we can't be like China, maybe embrace crypto. The bigger point is that China's circumstances are unique. There aren't many governments, if any, that could get away with this kind of control over the banking system. Others have tried, such as Venezuela and Argentina, and have destroyed confidence in their currencies in the process. So, if the rest of the world can't use compliant banks to subsidize a fluid digital payment system, what instead will it use as a platform? The answer may be will lie in cryptocurrency and blockchain-based protocols. And as the race to build a stable coin proceeds, a foundation for something that could viably compete with China's models may emerge. It might even go one step better as it would allow for cross-border payments. As U.S. government officials look nervously across the Pacific at China's growing economy cult, rather than launching destructive trade wars that do nothing but prop up outdated 20th century industries, they should instead be figuring out how to emulate and compete with China's new Internet of Value model for business development and innovation. It's in that context that they should be looking at cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology less as a threat and more as an opportunity. Alright, so that was the second featured article in today's newsletter. So what can you say about this um, article? Share with us your opinions in the comment section below. And by the way, this um, information is presented for your news review and educational entertainment regarding blockchain. Alright.
Okay, so um, later on, there's still another article that um, I'll, I'll be reading with you guys. Uh, it's about Russian Central Bank increasingly positive toward crypto. So um, stay tuned for that one. Now, before I end this video, I'll show you around the newsletter that everyone will get as soon as they subscribe to this. So here is a copy of today's issue of preferredcurrency.news here. So these are the featured articles for today. And here would show in this article are some websites that we're gonna um, go through now. All right. So first, here. Now, um, here is a great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions simply by going to eosauthority.com slash alerts. Now, here, you can get alerts on transactions on your account, such as incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrop sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any um, ECAF arbitration notices. Also, in this um, page, you will learn more about alerts in the FAQs shown below, such as, does one require keys? or will there be a service fee and what kind of alerts can one expect okay so also um here the website eos authority um also performs as a blog producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance all right so guys if you want to get alerts um on transactions in your account you can go to eosauthority.com slash alerts and sign up here all right and by the way um if you want a copy of today's newsletter um you can subscribe by simply going to preferredcurrency.news and scroll down and click the link paypal where you can pay 15 dollars a month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at coinbase with your favorite cryptocurrency four hundred eighty dollars per year um, by clicking here at coinbase and after you do that you start receiving this data in your email every day that's 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on youtube all right again guys you can subscribe here at our website preferredcurrency.news all right now also um here you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for eos and also what you would like to buy at the website here eos marketplace news here so um if you have any vacation rentals real estates boats or services available in exchange for eos you can post them here now don't worry guys the site is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee all you need to do is to type in the item that you want to sell here under the general category column of course the definition of the item you want to sell under column c um, any website or link for the description such as images or photos of the item and that's under column f and of course your contact information like um, your email address phone number so that the buyers will know how to reach you so again guys that's eos marketplace news also um you can place your additional listings here at marketplace.pcn.today where you can submit your ad advertisements now um, we they have different categories here on the website such as automotive electronics jobs um, pets and animals restaurants and cafe and other services also the website marketplace.pcn.today has an advertisement section where um, it has two types of ad listings one is with um, grid view here and the other one is list view here so um, this section here also may contain um, the latest ads popular ads random ads and also featured ads will be shown in this section all right also the website has an ads location section where um, one can add 
um, their desired locations and there is no limit for the location so you can do it as you would like to so again guys this is marketplace.pcn.today so where you can place your additional listings here and also um, you can sign up at pro.coinbase.com to change some US dollars into Bitcoin so that you can then transfer that Bitcoin to the Binance exchange where you can change your Bitcoin into EOS if you wish. So here, this is the website pro.coinbase.com and here is what the website looks like. You can log in if you're already a member or you can sign up if you're not a member yet. So here, so here is the most trusted platform for trading cryptocurrency. Now, um, Pro, uh, Coinbase Pro offers individuals the ability to trade a variety of digital assets on a secure insurance-backed platform. So here, this is what, or this is how how the website looks like. Here, of course, they have insurance protection and zero makey or maker fees here that so again that again guys is pro.coinbase.com all right also um you can um then you can download the free eos links wallet from your google play store or your favorite app store so that you can use eos most um, easily also you can download um the application on your windows through here eos um eoslinks.com where um you can download your um free eos wallet on your windows there so this is what eosthinks.com look like there. okay right. and also um here we have good news for you guys now um the publisher of preferred currency dot news would like to connect with you personally now you can contact Donald the Guru through his phone number at 1-801-601-8105 or on his WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939. You can also contact on our using Telegram channel at preferredcurrency.news and our dear subscribers can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. Alright. Now also guys, um, in each issue of the newsletter for the people that subscribe to it, um, you can see um, Donald's new research list for the day where um, you can check your opinion um, regarding tokens and coins. So here, here is the link to Donald's research list and we're going to go there by clicking here. Right, so this is how Donald's research list looks like. Here it would contain the name of coin or token here on column A. On column B is the dates when appeared on Donald's list. That's for today, October 21st. And this is the original price of each token. Then on column D is the 24 hours day surprise. And column E is the 7 days day surprise. Column F is 30 days day surprise. Column G is the 24 hours up or down. And take note guys that the green ones have positive news or positive feedback. And then I, um, the red ones have negative feedback. Alright. Also on each issue of... Um, the newsletter would show um, the spreadsheet for preferred currency dot news. This is um, a day ahead of, of analysis. So this is for tomorrow, October 22nd. So here. On column A would show the red have negative news. That's for the tokens or coins. 
Orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows best news here. Now you can subscribe to preferredcurrency.news to get this um, analysis for free. All right. Now in column B is the um, US dollar resin price. So take for example here the Bitcoin. It's worth $6,524. Now, in column C is the share of total market volume. Column D is Google searches compared to past seven days. Column E, 50 candle SMA movement. Column F, number of positive technical indicators. Column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. Column H, 7 days weekly volume versus price. Column I, 30 days monthly volume versus price. And J is the percent issued. Now take note guys that this sheet is not a recommendation for one to buy or sell tokens or coins. It is highly recommended that you should do your own research um, if you want to buy some. I take for example you decide that you would like some. Always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders. Right. And after you've opened the spreadsheet of course it's for view only so um, one should make a copy by doing or by clicking the file here and make a copy here of course we want to make our own copy of this spreadsheet so that we can have our own version which we can modify as we want as how we want it to be with our per own purposes and research where we can add columns or add our personal notes and information to our own file copy there again guys that is um, the spreadsheets um, that you can see on each issue of preferred currency dot news right also here on the newsletter would show you the tokens or coins that have high volume change interesting technical price action high weekly trade volume and high google search activity here and of course um we have an affiliate program for you guys where you can earn your crypto each month um you can invest your time in affiliate program but please um do not post your affiliate link in public um, forums or comments but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account and by doing so you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep okay you can enroll here by clicking the image here or you can go to the website preferredcurrency.news and sign up at uh, by clicking the affiliate tab here on the upper right corner of the site all right okay so again guys um, don't forget to subscribe for you to get the latest news and updates on blockchain all right okay so i think that's it now we have another article to tackle later on so stay tuned guys and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates this is once again mia and i'll see you later